we would not be able to record the changes happening around us. We also wouldn't know how important it is in our daily activities to keep time. Now, honoring an agreed upon time with someone not only shows that you are trustworthy, but it also shows the level of respect that you have for that person and their time as well. Well, here to give us a broad perspective about time management is Chris Langefeld from Imsimbi Training. It's good to have you, Chris. Welcome to, welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you and very much. And thank you for being on time. Showing us huge <laughs> respect by being on time. Good morning to your <laughs> listeners as well. What I mean, is it an accurate indicator of <clears throat> respect, being on time? Tremendous. Um, you know, the first thing that we need to ask ourselves, I think, is um, are we honoring um, life itself? Yeah. Because life is an appointment that we all need to make. It's constantly challenging us and we need to be, uh, are we available? You know, the, the best teachers for me are children. I have a number of grandchildren at home. And uh, Jessica, my granddaughter, once sort of got my attention. She pulled both of my ears and she said, Grandpa, yeah? I'm talking to you. Yes. Listen. Yes, yeah. And I think it's about being present. Uh, Time management is about being focused and being present. Yeah. You can only do that if you know what's urgent, what's important. Yeah, yeah. And that's the key to, to it. It's respecting yourself and respecting others. You know, you and I were chatting off air and I was saying, I almost feel like it's inbred in me. That, that I, I try so hard and, and you know, I just, I, I get it wrong. This yeah. time management thing in me don't get on very, very well. Yeah. I feel like it's, it's part of my genes, but it's not. How, how do I fix this? How do I rectify? And I'm sure I'm asking, I'm asking this on behalf of a lot of people watching. Yeah. I think a key to it is managing ourselves. Yeah. We can't manage time. Time is moving on, as yeah. you said, in the studio, everywhere. But we can manage ourselves by learning how to be present, stopping and deciding on what's important and what is it that we want to do and being present to somebody else. And that means being in touch with my own suffering and with the suffering of other people. There's a connection here because to be present to somebody else means that I understand that I want to listen and diminish the suffering of somebody else. Now that's not original, that comes from a Vietnamese Buddhist monk called Thich Nhat Hanh. Mm -hmm. And he says, to listen is to give some space to somebody else to make sure they suffer less. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's time management. Okay, practically, what does that mean? It means slowing down and being slowed down for a period to assess. And sometimes we stopped in our tracks by events and we forced to assess. Yesterday, we remembered uh, Vuyo. Yeah. Didn't we? It was his Absolutely. birthday. Absolutely, it was his birthday, yeah. We think of Madiba. Uh, we think of these people... They slow us down to think about what's really important, what's valuable. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. And that is when we can learn to prioritize what's important for others around us. Mm. At work, their colleagues who are dependent on us, the other people who are dependent on us. So we need to make choices. Um, there are so many things that we can do in the morning. You yourself have said it, coming to work. But we need to focus, and that's the key. Yeah. How do we focus? And we focus only by standing back a little bit from life. Yeah. And it's a discipline that we have to learn, I think. You know, Ayanda I, I brought up a very interesting, an interesting thing. We always blame African time. And yeah. one thing that's quite a bad thing is, particularly with our politicians, uh, pitching up at rallies maybe an hour and a half late, letting crowds stand in the sweltering heat for however long waiting to be addressed or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, what does that show? Um, we talk about respect, uh, you know, just it's quite an interesting angle to have a look at. Yes. Politicians arriving late to rallies or meetings or, or, or appointments, what does that show? Yes, uh, I've actually been to a meeting like that once where a politician, I won't name names, yeah. but was late. And the people felt this man doesn't respect us, he doesn't love us, he doesn't care. That was the feeling. And... Um, you damage your reputation because your reputation's built on two things, I think. Mm. If you listen to Stephen Covey Jr., he says, uh, trust is built on character and competence. Now, it means your character then at that point is, is, is blemished. Yeah, yeah. And people question your competence as well. Yeah. 
and okay. they, you lose your trust. All right, Chris, <clears throat> my competence is under question again because I've now <laughs> run over time. Again, Chris, is, uh, me and time, I told you, it's not a good thing. But unfortunately, when you, you, you're running so close to, to five minutes, it's a terrible, terrible thing. Chris, thank you for talking to us. And I think you've given us the key reasoning why you should be on time. It's disrespectful to not be on time. Now, Chris is from MCMB Training, talking about uh, the concept of time and how important it is to respect it. Let's take a break. We'll have the news.